right now we are going through clothes to donate. Yeah, that. A lot more stuff. We have a lot of clothes we don't need. From the San Jacinto River that is currently out of its banks. We're gonna take them though because it's a good time for people maybe to get their minds off the devastation and have fun. I mean, we're doing okay. We just gotta help the people in need. I mean, I think if, if we've been staying dry, we can go out and offer our help to to people who are less fortunate than we were. Downtown wasn't too bad. Like, I think we'll be safe from downtown. Yeah. We'll see. It's close. We're trying to get to that building. It's crazy. We got the National Guard out here. Where can we park? We're trying to donate. Uh, you might have to just jump out and walk into the front. Okay. All right. Thank you. All right. Thank you. I mean, I, I highly doubt if they're telling people right now. <laughs> so, yeah, that's what the cop told us. You would think one of us should stay? Yeah, just in case. All right, we'll, st we'll stay here and I'm, I'll go check it out. She's crazy. left the George R. Brown because we had uh, this guy who lived, who stayed in Montrose approached me and he needed a ride back to uh, Montrose because he wasn't flooded over there to get to his family so we gave him a ride and um, after that we decided to come back to the house because the rain was getting kind of bad and also I was only on a fourth tank of gas so and you know gas is really scarce right now and I wasn't trying to risk it so I, we did what we could um, if you're in the downtown midtown area and you can make the George R. Brown, they need donations, especially water. I noticed it wasn't a lot of water. Um, a lot of people donating clothes, toiletries, those type of things. So anything that you can give to help, that would be great. I think they said on uh, the news they had like seven, something 25,000, 75,000 emergency calls just from last night. So it's a lot of people in need. So if you're one of those people like us where you know, you're know you comfortable for now and you have some something to give, it could mean a lot to someone else. Yeah. So, yeah, everything is safe, right? No, just stay safe, guys. And, you know, just, you know, if, if you're not in water, send help. I mean, give help. Yeah. Help any way you can. Because uh, cabin fever is a motherfucker. <laughs> and, I mean, we're getting, it feels like we're going to be stuck here for a good while. Um, uh, the only thing I'm concerned about is food at the moment because I feel like we're just like stress eating and like okay we only bought food for like a day or two that <laughs> no because you ate up all the food the first day before, shut up before the storm came <laughs> we're gonna get through this uh we've been through this before uh stay safe <laughs>